Uh, I've had kind of a strange kind of musical background. Uh, the first band I was in was actually a Blues Brothers band in Scotland back in 2006, and I was I was Jake Blues in it. You know, can I have the face for it? When I grew up the sideburns and such. But um, and then um, I came back and I just kind of played. Uh, you know, just practice and stuff for a while. And then I was I was the lead singer in a metal band for a while. Um, then I left. Uh, in early 2010, and that's kind of when me and Andy and Ryan started, you know, uh, tossing around the idea of doing the W. Shillelagh's. You know, we'd gotten together a lot and uh, drank beer and um, got silly and that sort of thing. And that's kind of when we started listening to that music specifically. Now, I'd um, I'd been a big fan of, of Celtic punk and stuff, uh, you know, kind of in the early 2000s. Um, and so that was... So I'd kind of had that background, and then uh, everybody else kind of had their own their own different different things. So you know, we started playing, and then kind of what we were doing started kind of changing over time, which is interesting. But then uh, it turned into this. <laughs> singing was always more of a hobby. I took some opera lessons when I was in high school. I've been in choirs and churches and in schools since I was a little kid, but I never really focused on it as anything. Um, when we started doing the stubby shillelaghs. And I was like, well, we don't really need percussion, so <laughs> it just seemed like the best fit. I discovered Irish drinking songs, specifically the Blarney Lads, when I was in high school. Probably about the same time I discovered beer. <laughs> and I just had so much fun listening to those old Blarney Lads tunes, you know, and, you know, it's something that I enjoyed doing for a long time. I never really thought much into it. And then, uh, Later, years later, I met uh, Andy and Shaughnessy, and they, you know, I found out that they had the same kind of interest, and all of our bands were, you know, on kind of shaky ground at that point. So we were like, hey, let's let's try this this Celtic folk thing. Me and the Boyos started in June, but we didn't practice very. We had one practice, and then we played, we performed the like one or two songs we knew for a couple of guys. Um, uh, they were down at the warehouse and we were practicing at. Or like the one song three times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, well, you know, and then one song that I was trying to play. And he was singing just fine. I wasn't playing anything close to the right notes. <laughs> but I just picked up, that was that was the first time I, uh, I practiced the mandolin. And I'd only picked it up like two weeks before that and just wow. picked on it a little bit. So I was pretty new to that, to that instrument. And me and Shaughnessy had known each other since high school. Uh, We'd hung out a few times in high school, and then it was shortly thereafter that we started hanging out a lot. And then I met Ryan through another mutual friend, and me and Ryan have played in several bands together. And uh, this was just kind of like a, you know, I, I don't even know how seriously we took it at first, because not at not all. Not very. Yeah. <laughs> because mostly it was just like a, hey, let's get together, and this is an excuse to get really drunk, so... <laughs> and get drunk we did. Yeah, that's right. It's like, hey, I'm drunk. Check it out. I know this song about being drunk. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, then it just it just grew well and, and it really started, you know, we really started getting after it when I, I got a call one night in uh, I think it was towards the end of September and, and Andy or Ryan, I can't remember who had actually called me, but one of them was like one of them was like, Well we have a show at the end of October. No. And at that time we had like we had maybe three or four songs that we could actually play play together in a way that didn't sound like crap. <laughs> and so I was like, oh real easy, GC. Yeah. And, and what had happened was me and Ryan were sitting here at the bar and we were just shooting the shit with the owner. And he was like, Well, I don't have anything going on for Halloween. And then he goes, Well, would you like to play at our Halloween? And me and Ryan had, had a few drinks, a couple shots, and we were like, Yeah. Yeah, why not? That sounds great. The next day we call Sean and we're like, dude, I think we made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're sure. not ready for this. <laughs> but we went with it. Yeah, well, we, really glad we, we practiced did. really hard. I mean, we were doing, it was one of those things where we were we were getting together at like every possible opportunity, which is tough because I live about 45 minutes away from Greeley, but, you know, we were getting together before I had to go to work, you know, before Ryan had to go to work, after we got off of work. I mean, so we were we were averaging probably, I would say at least, we were trying three or four um, practices a week for that month going up to the show. And I still didn't know if we were gonna pull it off.
The first time we came in, it was it was the day before Halloween, and um, yeah, 2010. Uh, day before Halloween, 2010. And um, Greg had asked us, he, he didn't have anybody um, to play the show for kind of his big, because Halloween was actually on a Sunday, but everybody was going to be going out Friday and Saturday and partying and that sort of thing, and he didn't have anybody. So he asked us, and it's funny because we've been talking about it, but Greg didn't actually know what kind of music we were going to play. So he actually thought that we were a Celtic rock band. And so he was actually a little bit more hesitant as a result of that. And then we, we got up on stage and we started playing Whiskey in the Jar. And everybody started going nuts. And, and, and Greg, the owner, he was, he was, he was going crazy. And then, and then after that first show, um, he, came, he came up to us afterwards and asked if we wanted to play a weekly gig. And we were like, well, yeah. <laughs> That was the thing that I think has kept me with you guys, and and it's just the way that we do things. That alcohol is just running right through me. But yeah, it is. I want to know: Are you guys interested in us playing uh, some more fucking songs? You guys want to hear some more? And the way that you on you know you take hold of the audience and do what you do, you're the magic that you do, and then all of us coming together, it, it's it's just a lot of fun. Chance. 